Hi friends, welcome to my channel and the seagulls. You can probably hear outside, as usual. <laughs> my name is Sonique and I live in Cornwall where we have a lot of seagulls. And today I'm doing an unboxing of another Greek mythology deck uh, for my Hellenic studies. Now you might recall, I've done quite a few videos actually on decks that I'm using. I think the last one was this one here, the Hellenic Oracle, which I've put in a tin. And this is by um, Thea, who's one of, and a YouTube creator, which is where I found that. And then this one that I've recently bought is also by another YouTube creator. It goes by the name of Forest Moon Maiden on YouTube, um, there, Cara. And I'll put a link to the Etsy shop where I bought it, uh, which has also been renamed as, I think it's Chthonic Forest. Yeah, Chthonic Forest. C H T H O N I C and Forest. Okay. So they say on the Etsy shop, Chthonic Forest, inspired by nature and the underworld. Chthonic is from Greek origin and it means concerning, belonging to, or inhabiting the underworld. So it goes in line with Persephone, doesn't it? So the products in this store are inspired by. The Chthonic and the Old Ways, based on my personal spiritual practice and what I feel intuitively drawn to create. Everything is made with intention and care in honour of the deity or spirit that the item is being created for. So yeah, I do candles, oils and all sorts of them. They're based in America, I think, Virginia, I would have to check that. <laughs> yeah, Virginia, United States. Okay, so yeah, supporting... Again, another YouTube creator, which I do enjoy doing, actually. You know, they put a lot of work and effort and energy into creating these decks. So I think it's only nice to support them. Um, the card that came with it was this Fae and Flame, which I believe was the original branding. That, yeah, has been changed now to this Chthonic Forest. So, yeah, let's just take it out of the box. Oh, thank you. No. And yeah, this is the deck Tarot of Persephone's Garden. So, go along well with um, the Red Seed Oracle and Tarot that I have. Um, I will put a link to a playlist I've put together with all the Hellenic and Greek mythology decks that I've bought and that I'm interested in. So, we've got a top box here. Got some uh, Rossetti paintings, which is, I've said many times, one of my favourite art styles is the pre Raphaelites. So let's have a look at this. This is Tara Persephone's Garden, a curated art deck dedicated to the Queen of the Underworld. And yeah, the creator's name is Cora Small. These are the backs, the pomegranates. We have an ode to Persephone could use to bless the deck. There is no guidebook. Oh, it's a linen card stock. Oh, it's so nice. And I'm wondering if there are repeating cards between these two decks, between Thea's deck and Cara's deck, which is quite possibly going to be the case. But this is an oracle deck. This is a tarot deck. Okay. So if you know any of the Greek myths, then some of these are going to be familiar. So it's not just Persephone, it's other Greek deities that are in this deck. So although there's no guidebook with the deck itself, there is a PDF with a little bit of information on each card. So this is Pandora, opening Pandora's box, and it tells you that it's by John William Waterhouse. It's a Waterhouse painting and it says in this deck the fall is renamed to the unknown out of curiosity and naivety pandora opens the box that contains all evil in the world but it also contains hope so the waterhouse paintings continue here with the sorceress i've seen this one in person uh, high priestess is the priestess of Delphi, which is appropriate, isn't it? The Empress is a Rossetti, and 
I wonder if that's Jane Siddle. I think that might be Jane Siddle, the painting. The Emperor is another water house. This painting is called the Invocation. And here it's been assigned to the Oracle. Look at the lovers. <laughs> Springtime. A chariot card here is the foam sprite. Strength is Aphrodite. That's amazing, isn't it? We have solitude instead of the hermit. Threads of fate instead of the wheel of fortune. This is called winding the skein. So, you know, the thread here. For justice, we have Cersei. I love this painting. There's Ulysses in the background. Surrender for the hanged one. Oh, look at this death card. It's like the change of seasons, actually, isn't it, in that one? You know, spring and winter. Mm, okay, Temperance. It's another water house. A few water house paintings in here, I think. This is Jason and Medea. And I've just been reading the story of Jason and Medea. Mm. Yes, love went wrong there, didn't it? <laughs> The devil is Lilith, our wonderful Lilith. I'm just about to read a book on Lilith, actually. Which is this one here, Nikki Marmory Lilith. Yeah, that's my next read, actually. Meet the heroine we've waited 6,000 years for. Mm. This Greek mythology is uh, its fascinating. Okay, so we have Tempest instead of the Tower. This is the death of Sappho. So in this image, the legendary poet Sappho is about to throw herself from a cliff into the stormy sea below. This can be interpreted as the perspective of those falling from the Tower in the traditional Tarot. The star is the Morning Star. I love that story of the Morning Star. This is Star, bringing hope and renewal. The moon is Selene. One of my favourite goddesses. Mm. Love Selene. The sun. This is Clyte or Clyte, a water nymph who fell in love with the sun god Helios. Here she turns to the sun, basking in its warm rays. Unfortunately, Helios did not reciprocate her love. Judgment. The field of the slain. Ooh, angel of death. And the world. So this is rising spring. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Right, we start now in the minus with the one suit. And the ace, this is the allegory of charity. Burning heart. I've seen this one in person. I actually think this because I did a video where I took some footage of a pre-Raphaelite exhibition I went to in Falmouth. And yes, yeah, some of these paintings were there. This one definitely was. And this is, I am half sick of shadows, said the Lady of Shalott. And it's a water house. The three, another water house, this is Destiny. The four, the return of Persephone. And she is. It's Demeter or Demeter. So, yeah. Spring comes back again, lovely. 
the five of wands, so we've got the nymphs and satyr, or satyr, which is their half goat. Six of wands, oh look at this, autumn vintage festival. It's a maenad. We worship Dionysus. The seven of wands, that is in another of the decks. Uh, I definitely recognise that one. That's in the Tower of Aphrodite. So this is at the gate of the temple. The eight is windswept, another water house. So this is when Persephone goes back to Hades in the underworld. The nine of wands is Ophelia. What a sad tale is Ophelia. The ten. We've got someone grieving here. Reminiscent of Demeter, completely and utterly burdened by her grief from losing Persephone. So yeah, a lot of, of that myth is in the deck, which is helpful. So the maiden here. The pages are renamed to maidens in Persephone's garden. This maiden, who is a priestess of Bacchus, is lively and playful. She plays a song for her dear companion. <laughs> the priestess. We have a priestess of Bacchus. So the knights are priestesses. We keep queens. This is called the love potion. <laughs> to the cups. I think that's actually part of a painting. It's not the whole painting, but it's a part of it. So the two. Is there a romance going on there? The three. The four. You can always recognise Rossetti's paintings. This is Veronica Veronese. Five. This is Demeter again, or Demeter, Persephone's mother. A six. An offering to Venus. Seven, the siren. Hmm. We followed the siren song. The eight, Miranda and the tempest. Nine, this is a mermaid. Probably seen this. There's a lot of these you, you've more than likely seen before. Spring by John Collier. Be pastoral. Actually, this is Persephone there as well. This is a fairy holding a satchel full of infinite possibilities. I've got a butterfly crown. Well, the priestess. Cersei again. And the Queen, Cersei again. One of my all time favourite paintings. And then the King, the Knight of the Flowers. Very uh, flowery. <laughs> okay. Ace of Swords. Again, I think we've got part of a picture here. David with the head of Goliath. So. Yeah, it's part of an image that's been cropped. Another two. Brilliant two, isn't it? Another water house. Mariana in the south. Very sad three. Penitent Magdalene. Mm. 
the full Sleeping Beauty. The five Perseus and Andromeda. So the sea dragon here. And Perseus shoots an arrow at the dragon and saves her. But at what cost? <laughs> There's one that um, I saw in the Falmouth Art Gallery when it was touring, The Lady of Shalott. That is an amazing painting. That's just a tiny part of the painting. Seven. Thisbe. The Water House. She's a listening at the wall. <laughs> what are the neighbours saying? Eight of Swords, the Master of Soloway. It's a melee. She's chained up there. And the Nine. Again, that's in the Tower of Aphrodite. This is a sleepwalker. Oh, a very famous painting of Ophelia by Millet. Paul might caught a terrible, uh, I think, pneumonia from posing in a bath for that picture. <laughs> yeah, the maid, um, we have Judith, yes. Brilliant. The priestess is Sal Salome. Queen, Judith. There's a few Judiths in here then. And the king is Mercury, or Hermes. Hmm. It's winged Hermes. So, oh, we've got a pomegranate for the Ace of Coins. That's brilliant. The two, Lesbia and her sparrow. Balancing, yeah, that balancing energy. The three, gather you rosebuds while you may. <laughs> We've got Persephone again, the Rossetti's rendition of Persephone here. So the Roman version. The five, Pandora. Now she's opened the box. Oh dear, unleashed all that evil into the world. Only hope remains. Again, gather you rosebuds while you may. So, another part of that picture. The seven, the soul of the rose. The eight, Penelope. The loom. The nine, Ophelia. Ten, Flora. It was a very popular name, wasn't it, Flora, back in I don't know, late eighteen hundreds. Maiden is Ophelia again. The priestess of Bacchus. Venus. In Rossetti. And Bacchus themselves for the king. Okay, so that's the deck, and. It's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. So, yeah, they're very similar. They're both um, on meaning cardstock. So I think they'll go well together in a reading because we can use this as a tarot deck and then use this oracle alongside and really get to know these Greek pantheons. That's the latest addition to my Hellenic studies, my Greek mythology studies. Yeah, so these are added to that collection and I've also got books to read, books I've read, like Circe, Achilles. There's a few books I've already read and there's a few books I'm going to read very soon, including Lilith as well. So, yeah. Loving the study. Thank you so much for watching and until my next video, always.
You hear that wind? Actually, there's a storm brewing outside, so yeah, until my next video. <laughs> Bye, friends. Bye.